We are gonna eat big outs. Please, Kevin, go. Shoot him, he's aggressive. <laughs> oh, get off me, get off me. Nasty little boy. This isn't that beautiful. Okay, Mr. Tank, go ahead and get ready to take that shot. Take the shot. Ah, ah, ah. All right, everybody, time to give Patrick his bottle. And look at this cringe little cicada. I'm gonna give this to my crocodile. Cringe little broken wing cicada. Get over here, boy. Ooh, nasty little boy. Man, this boy is not that smart. There you go. There he goes. He ate it. He ate it. Okay, I can't find Patrick, but look at this, you guys. Patrick's nowhere to be seen, but there's a whole family of chickens over here. That mama's doing a real good job of raising those boys. Patrick, what are you doing in Oustopia, boy? This man is taking eight ounces every feeding now, twice a day. In a couple days, we're going to get him down to one drink a day. Precious little creature. This is how big he is, you guys. He's almost to the point where he's... Too big for us to have him on the bottle anymore. Look at this little big ounce boy. Are you gonna yell? <laughs> oh. Good evening, everybody. Today, Mr. Tank and I are hunting prairie dog. Just kidding, guys, but we are gonna eat big ounce. No need to hunt him whenever he's already in our possession. <laughs> Big Ounce is doing very well. He's healed up really well from that little spot on his nose. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and put this little boy inside. We're gonna be doing some nasty things today, you guys. Some nasty things. But these are all old eggs that didn't hatch. We're gonna see what's inside them. So we're taking these to the back of the property in that cornfield so we can crack them open and see how developed they were. The initial plan was the execution of young Patrick. No, Tank, no! Don't kill Patrick yet! He's not ripe. Only five more weeks and he's ready to be shot on a ranch in Texas. Just like his parents! <laughs> all right, guys, this is a ticking time bomb of stink. We need to take this as far away from my house as possible. But young Patrick here is on only one bottle a day, and this is his last week of weaning. So scared that these eggs are gonna pop. Uh, Looks like you're not meeting your demise today, Sir Patrick Bateman. But Tank's back in town because we have another friend coming in. Our beautiful Carmelo is coming back into town. But look at this, you guys. We have siding on the house now. Patrick just keeps walking in front of me whenever I'm trying to get somewhere. And this dang chicken keeps pooping in here, so I'm gonna rehome him to a friend tonight. I'm actually gonna rehome home most of these chickens tonight. Bob and Queeb are adorable and live in here. And these fellas are ready to have Gustavo in them. But Bob and Queeb are very happy in here and they love just laying on the trampoline. And I even saw these two kissing this morning. It's legal to have people come to your property and hunt your capybaras in Texas because they're not native. That's right, Tank. We can legally have him shoot these capybaras on my property with a bow. He's paying $20 for this. <laughs> this is legal. No, Tank, no! Just kidding, guys. I would never shoot Gort Quandale or Kumala, but maybe Sylvester. But I will give them this adorable little fella here. Uh-oh, while well, I was bending over getting this thing ready, one of the eggs popped. Oh, it's already starting to smell. But look at this, you guys. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, Mr. Tank, go ahead and get ready to take that shot. We're hunting capybara. Okay, guys, today we're going to do a little tutorial on how to hunt capybara. I'm going to show you guys where to shoot them in the best places. Uh, we're going to go for Gort because Gort has the most meat on his bone. Now remember guys, when hunting capybara, make sure that your shot placement is perfect. So take a look at this. I'm gonna go ahead and take the arrow out. Now remember, you wanna shoot right behind the front shoulder. This is legal in Texas, you guys. This is legal in Texas. People actually do hunt capybaras in Texas. You wanna shoot them right here behind the shoulder. That's a perfect lung or heart shot. It's gonna get them down real quick and they taste delicious. Now you could also go for the head or the nose, but that would destroy the skull mount. But these guys would make a real Really interesting European mount, you guys, which is when you just use the skull. Remember, you want to shoot either right here, could be right here, it could be in the spine as well, but that's not going to be the most ethical kill. Just kidding, guys. Obviously, we rescued these little clappy blappies, but people in Texas do, in fact, hunt them. And there are videos on YouTube that actually show you how to skin them. Just like there's tons of videos of people hunting prairie dogs. That's right, you guys. If you look it up, there's at least 50 videos on YouTube of people exploding them with tannerite. And we're gonna do all that too. <laughs> Stay tuned. Give me that, give me that. Hey, quick bite, quick bite. Oh, he burped. Okay, back off. Oh, he's coughing, guys. I'm gonna make sure I get this sticker off here before they keep eating. 
Now that we took 4D clickbait thumbnail pics, it's time to go back and crack those eggs open. Oh, look at this precious little baby. Oh, well, here's another thing for us to shoot. Just like I said earlier, you guys, there are no laws protecting the prairie dogs either. These are considered pest animals and we don't need any permits to hunt them here in Texas, I don't think. And look at this little guy. What do you think, Tank? Don't matter to me none about no laws. <laughs> Mrs. Ounce, for some reason, is so much friendlier now and he doesn't really try to attack me anymore. We got all of our pigeons comfy in there. I suppose I'll give you guys a little update on the babies. Look at them, you guys. They're precious. And they're going to be a nice little mixed color, too. They're going to be pretty. And these guys are also doing really well. Sure is nice to not have to syringe feed them every three hours. No, Tank, no! That one's not ripe yet! Tank, no! If you kill our only female, we won't have any next year. <laughs> That's actually how these exotic hunts work. Oh, did you see him yell? There ain't nothing more precious than watching these boys here. yell. Tank, quick, get him before he goes back in his hole. Look, guys, after waiting several months, we finally have siding. This house is finally starting to look like a real house from the outside. Oh, but look at Cringe in her little hole. She's so cute. She's looking kind of thick. Cringe is a lot more friendly as well. Oh, sir, please. Shoot him, Tank. Shoot him. He's aggressive. Wow, look at the baby's wife. Now, it's also legal for Tank to shoot these kangaroos here. You heard kangaroos? Watch out, Tank. He's going to attack you. Go ahead, Tank. Take the shot. And everybody knows about the Texas wild hog hunts. <laughs> now, if we let this little fella out for a day, she'd be wild. And legally, all of these animals, if they escape my property, could be shot by our neighbor. And we're finally getting pecans on this tree, you guys, after waiting two years. They're called pecans. No. Oh, these geese are invasive. So, Tank, you get to pick whichever one you want. Why not go for the nice young one? It's legal for us to shoot all. All of these animals. <laughs> also, the tree's doing well. I took your advice, everybody, from the last video, and I stopped watering them as much, and that was it. I was overwatering them. I told you. So we don't really have any more of those yellow leaves. Look, guys, there's one of my gar. Look at that. That's so cool. It's also legal for Tank to shoot these gar. <laughs> so what I'm thinking, you guys, is we could get a nice little five-foot alligator gar, put it in there, and charge Tank $500 to shoot it. $500? Legally. Yes. The peaches are coming in nicely. And for five you could get any of these animals you want, Tank. Go ahead, pick one. Please pick this one, please. I'll let you kill them for free. Oh, look, guys, a cardinal. This video, or even <laughs> just one like, and I get 10 subscribers to my feet picks, I'll kill Kevin. Whoa, how about it, you guys? If we can get 75,000 likes, that's 75,000 likes on this video, as Tank will shoot Kevin with this bow. Yo, can we get 75,000 likes on this video, please? Oh, look at this. I already fed all these boys today, so we don't need to do that. We also need to check the coyote trap you guys because it's been 24 hours since i checked it and you have to check it every 24 hours <laughs> go ahead tank take the shot no, no, take no, the shot no 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 go no, go no, for it tank Take the, no, no, Take the no, shot! No. Take the shot! Take the shot! Oh, is that Kevin? <laughs> Kevin, would you like to check on the... Oh, oh! Tank, he's getting aggressive! Take the shot! Ah, ah, ah! Take the shot, Tank! Take the shot! Tank, you got me! Mmm, that sure is gonna be a couple bleeders. This is nice, you guys. This thing is staying full now for some reason. I guess after a long period of time, the bottom of these ponds turned into clay. So now they actually retain a little bit of water. Go ahead, Tank. Take the shot. You have my permission. Look, guys, here's a little egg. Whoa, is that... Is that Kevin? I just want to see this egg that's covered in dirt and clearly not going to hatch, Kevin. Man, it's a shame. But you guys all commented, Uncle Ben, why don't you leave a couple eggs for Kevin to incubate? This is what happens, you guys. This is what happens when Kevin incubates eggs. He attacks them. He's a little dingus and he doesn't know how to take care of the eggs and he'll attack them if I put them right in front of his face. The laying season is over. Oh, well, we still haven't caught anything in the trap, but take a look at this, you guys. Whoa, you guys, is that Kevin's nest? Quick, Tank, take the shot. Not impressed with that incubator incubator at all and i'm gonna stop doing this until we can figure out a better one but next year you guys i'm either gonna get a better incubator change up the temperature and the humidity a little bit or i'm simply going to just sell the eggs themselves because the majority of them were fertile as you saw please kevin no but one thing's for sure if i had left them out here they all wouldn't have developed at all joe would be a lot of meat on this man's bones <laughs> these are our new brooder setups we have the basic heat pad with laundry hamper set up this is good for songbirds baby pigeons we have the Brinzia set up, but the shipment was missing some hinges, so we have to get some
some spare parts. Again, I'm really disappointed with this product. It's the same brand as this bad boy, which like I said, you guys has really bad humidity control, even with the pump. And we got this bad boy, which actually has an O2 nebulizer. So we can pump just straight oxygen into this bad boy. And this is perfect for any kind of small mammal. Like I said earlier, Gustavo's just about ready to move out of here. This guy is getting very big for this little enclosure. And he's come a long way from when we first rescued him, you guys. I remember when he was missing teeth and just a tiny little baby boy. Living in Tupperware in some nasty kitchen. Oh, there's still a little fish in there. Look how happy he is now. And he's gonna have a setup twice this big in a minute. Also, these babies are doing very well. They love the low heat setup. I'm really thankful that Pam showed us this method because this is very affordable and any of you guys can do this at home very easily. And just look at all these precious babies sleeping under their mamas. And they're all about the age of a teenager now. They all just kind of, ew, look at this spider, nasty. They all just kind of lay on these hay bales. And everything's nice and peaceful here at night. Well, the baby, look at these folds. Oh, get off me, get off me, get off me. That hurts. Good night. Mrs. DeBaby. They look so much less ugly now. And after I'm done feeding these boys, I put them back in here and I just close this on up. And I'm also still feeding this little rescue who is another little Geronimo. Old Geronimo is over there in the pigeon loft and this is new Geronimo. And just to help Patrick wean a little bit better, I'm gonna give him just three more ounces because I only gave him 12 this morning. My precious little boy getting so big. I miss having this boy sleeping in my room. But I don't miss his urine. And and at the end of this week, he'll be... Ah!